noses, the itchy eyes, and that scratchy throat. Yeah, fall allergies are leaving us pretty miserable. There are ways to relieve symptoms without heading to your medicine cabinet. Though. Aye, we go to the kitchen instead. Yeah, we change your diet here. Health reporter Haley Hernandez talking about some foods that might be able to help out. Right, food for thought. Produce go. could help serve the purpose of relieving some allergy symptoms. And one doctor says that this year we need help everywhere we can get it. Mold, pollen, and ragweed here to stay indefinitely. It's going to be pretty severe this year here in Texas because of a lot of the things that have happened with all the rainfall and water. Definitely eat your, eat your vegetables. That's right. For all the fall sniffling, sneezing, and itchiness, Dr. Shaw from the American Sinus Institute says to eat vegetables. With anti-inflammatory elements and vitamin C, he recommends veggies like broccoli and celery. The, the thought process is vitamin C, which is found in many foods, uh, plant-based foods, broccoli, for example, may have a, an antihistamine effect, which is, which is beneficial. And then vitamin A um, found in carrots, for example, can just directly um, enhance the immune system. In addition to carrots, onions and garlic can help in a similar way. Onions and garlic are also thought to enhance the immune system, not quite through that mechanism, but they're also beneficial. They have another immune fighting property, quercetin, which Dr. Shaw says also helps with inflammation. And vitamin A foods are thought to improve allergies since some studies show people with low vitamin A are more likely likely to have asthma and allergies. This season, you can eat pumpkin to get lots of vitamin A. Yeah, and you see how nature gives the foods during the seasons that we need them most. Don't forget that if you boil any of those vegetables, then you still have some of the vitamins and nutrients in the water. You can use that to make soup. As a matter of fact, I'm putting an anti-allergy soup on click2houston.com right now under the health section. I also put a video oh, on my Facebook. You're doing recipes now, Maybe. Haley. How I about thought it? you I'm a terrible said you're cook. bringing in soup. <laughs> you don't, I don't know. I don't need more. a recipe. Every time I bring you guys health foods, <laughs> y'all tell me how terrible it is. That is true. And this terrible. one, I like terrible. forgot an ingredient. So I'm not going to torture you with that. <laughs> All right, so follow-up question foods we should avoid. Right, so there are some foods that you should avoid. Um, a lot of foods that are associated with ragweed, so if you have an allergy to ragweed, bananas, melons, cucumber, zucchini, chamomile, and hibiscus oh. tea. Whoa. It's so interesting really? because I, every time I drink hibiscus tea, it feels like my sinuses are just like closing in on me. I hate it, and I have an allergy to ragweed, so now I'm putting the two together. Pretty uh -huh. interesting. That's why I stop eating bananas, I think, subconsciously maybe, because uh, of the ragweed and the it? banana thing. That's really? No, seriously, because I stop. I don't know why, I just stopped, because I think in the winter it was over, it's too much. Uh, Who knew? Yeah, yeah. it just makes sense a now. funny feeling. That's what hibiscus tea does to me. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. All right, yeah. thank you. Thanks, Good guys. information. Wow. Really? All right, who can forget this little mama? <laughs> this is so good. Hey.